Hello, my name is Stefan and I'm going to show you how to model a rim in Maya. I'm using Maya 2011 as you can see and what you see on your screen, um, yeah, that's exactly the rim that we're going to model. So if you follow me step by step, you should in the end come up with something that looks like this. Okay, so let me close that window here. Um, first of all, you should create a new project. So go to File, I go to Project, go to New. Um, you can call your project whatever you want. I call mine OZ underscore rim. Use the defaults, accept that. So with um, the project created, uh, let's um, go to a browser, in my case Firefox. And if you're going to the website of that company, um, it's oz-racing.de, um, you'll find the Ultra Legera HLT, and that's exactly the rim um, we are going to model. So yeah, this is a nice image um, just to, to have a look at, but let's um, search for a better picture. So go to Google um, on google.de, go to pictures or images, and search for OZ Rim 20. Um, all right, so there you go. There's a, a nice picture. Let's take that, go to full screen, um, right click, save as, and I'm gonna put that um, to the folder that we just created. So go to your projects folder and uh, search for the project that you gra uh, just created. Um, OZ underscore rim. I put that to source images and I call this um, rim reference. Okay. With that done, um, let's go back to Maya. Mm. Okay, and let's bring that image uh, in here to yeah to have something to focus on. Um, before I do that, I should tell you that I'm working in centimeters. Um, I don't know if you you're using uh, you're working in inches or something like that. Or so let's go to um, settings preferences under window. Um, go to preferences and then go to settings. Um, so mine is set to centimeters and degrees. So if you want to follow me step by step, you should set that to centimeters and degrees. Okay. All right. So let's go to the side view. Mm, go to view. Go to image plane and import that image. So it should automatically bring you to that uh, source images folder where we put the image. Um, okay. So click on that. Open that and then go back to perspective view. Mm. I want to push this back in X, so go here to inputs, uh, image plane, and go to center X, middle mouse, and push that back. So, okay, let's go back to the side view mm, and bring that right, or as close to the center of the grid as we can. So go to center Y. Um, I hit control and middle mouse to fine tune that. Uh, well, that's okay. So go to center Z and try to put that right in the middle. Mm, I'm happy with that. Okay, so we are ready to start modeling. Um, before that, I should tell you how um, I, I created this shelf up here. I mean, this is the polygon shelf. And if you're using an earlier version of Maya, um, your icons up here, yeah, they look a little bit different, but yeah. It's not a big difference. Um, so if you don't know how you put your own um, icons on the shelf or your own um, tools, uh, that's easy to do. So I'm I'm only using some simple polygon modeling tools for for this one. But as you can see up here, I got um, deselect as as a button, um, uh, back face calling face show face normals on and off, uh, delete the history. Um, center the pivot, delete edges, vert uh, vertices. Um, <laughs> yes, just some some stuff. Um, freeze transformations right here, or um, split uh, selected ettering. Um, so if you want to put some um, some icons on on your own shelf, it's uh, easy. So you go to Edit Mesh, for instance. You want to have the flip triangle edge on your shelf, so hit Control Shift and click on that, and you can see up here uh, it automatically uh, brings it up to the shelf. And if you uh, if you want to get rid of it, just uh, middle mouse and drag it onto the trash bin right here. Okay, so just so that you know. 
So, all right, so let's go to the next lesson and start modeling.